Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we're doing our second supercharging test with the 2022 Model Y from Austin with the 4680 battery. All right, we're currently in Grapevine, Texas. Uh, this is one of the fastest uh, superchargers in the DFW area. So we chose to come here for the second test. Uh, as you can remember, last week we did the test in Abbott, Texas, and it wasn't the best results that we thought. Uh, so we're going to go do the second test uh, to see what we can get. Uh, currently, we have the Model Y at, it wasn't 5%, but now we're sitting at 4%. So we're going to go ahead and see what type of power we can pull out of this uh, supercharger in Grapevine, Texas. And guys, quickly, we'll be going from 4% to 90% in this test. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get it plugged in and we'll get the test going. All right, and we have power. Let's see what we got going on. So guys, we'll note the time. Okay. So it's 11.43, and I want you to note that we're already pulling 235 kilowatts to begin with. So already better than the test from last week. So let's see how fast we can stay at this charge rate. But yeah, that's, that is impressive, and that's what we're looking for. And we'll kind of note, um, again, 11.45 at night, uh, 90 degrees outside, and the, the battery is pretty warmed up. I've been driving for about two hours to get the battery down. So the real question is, at this high charging curve, how long can it stay? So already in less than a minute, we've gone from 4% to 10%. And you'll see that we've already come down a little bit from 235 to 230. Yeah, you gotta love these version 3 chargers All right, guys, you can see it's coming down a little bit. So we were at 235, now we're coming down to 200. So from 4% to 10%, it was 235. Then it came down a little bit. And guys, again, remember we started this at 11.46. We started this at 11.44. So we're two minutes in. At the two minute mark, we've gone from 4% to 18%. So yeah, already doing better than we did last week in Abbott. Um, the one thing I'll say is that 235 rate, it would have been nice if it would have kept that for longer, but we did reach that. I think last time we only got to 205. So now we're at 20%. So in three minutes, we've gone from 4% to 20%.
and you guys can hear the fans kicking on for the cooling, which is normal. So now we're at 24%, so we've officially, we've added 20% to the battery, so 4% to 24%, and it's 11.44, so 20% charge in four minutes. All right, guys, we're at 30% charge. So again, um, went from 4% to 30% in six minutes. And now we're down to 117 kilowatts. So again, coming down the charge curve, uh, the fastest we saw was 235. That was only for that first couple of minutes. But yeah, we are pulling, pulling pretty strong. All right, guys, right at 11.54, so 10 minutes in, we're now at 40%, and you can see we've dropped down to 109 uh, kilowatts for the charge. So again, in 10 minutes, we've added 36% of the battery, which is, which is really impressive. Okay, guys, now it's 11.58, and we're at 50%. So again, we've gone from 11.44 to 11.58, so that'd be 14 minutes to 50%. So in 14 minutes, we've gone from 4% to 50%. So still pretty impressive. Um, and again, like I said before, I, I think that we're still just seeing the beginning of this battery, but to get a 46%, you know, charge to your battery in 14 minutes is it's actually pretty, pretty impressive. Um, You'll note that we have seen a pretty significant tamper down on the uh, the charge curve. So you can see it, it it starts really fast and it comes down quick. But yeah, still really impressive. Again, almost half the battery in 14 to 14 minutes. And for a lot of road trips, you're not going to be charging too much, right? You're going to be charging enough for like 100 miles in between. So if you could do that, 14 mile, you know, 14 minute. Uh, stops, 15 minute stops, get in, you know, get a drink, use the bathroom, grab a snack, and get going. That's going to be the future. So we'll check back in at 60%. All right, so now we are sitting at 60%, and it's 12.03. So again, we started this at 11.44, and it's 12.03, so we're sitting at 19 minutes in, and we've added 56% of the battery. So again, starting at 11.44, it's 12.03, and we've gone from 4% to 60%. Um, also, let's note again that you're gonna see that slowdown in the charge curve, so we're now we're sitting at 81 kilowatts. Again, we peaked on this charge session in that first couple of minutes at 235 kilowatts. All right, at the 24 minute mark, we are sitting at 70% battery, which is still pretty impressive. Um, it looks like the charging has stopped, um, which I'm not sure why it stopped, but it looks like charging just stopped. Um, but I'll keep filming this. Uh, I'll probably, I'm gonna unplug it and plug it back in. Um, actually, let me just hit start charging and see what happens. That's weird that the charging stopped because I have the charge limited. Okay, but again, so I mean 24 minutes to get to 70%, pretty pretty impressive. Um, again, a lot better than the, the last experiment. Uh, we'll keep this going all the way up to 90%. Um, and we'll keep, we're not gonna cut out that little blooper, but that was where the charging stopped at 70%. Uh, comment below if you've had that happen bef before, if your charging has just randomly stopped um, before your charge limit, because I'd be curious to see. Um, again, it's been two years since I sold my last Tesla, so it's been a little been a, been a little while, but that was, that was definitely interesting. 
but yeah, we'll keep, we're going to keep pressing uh, until we get to that 90%. Also, we'll note the charging is down to 64 uh, kilowatts, so normally most people would probably, you know, at this point, leave and, go, and just keep going on the, on the road trip. But since we're doing uh, this for the experiment and documentation, we'll, we'll keep going to 90%. All right, we're at 80%, and it's been now 30 minutes. So again, 11.44 p.m. to 12.16 a.m., we've gone from 4% to 80%. So we've, we've added 76% of the battery in 30 minutes. Really impressive. Uh, we're going to keep going until we get to 90%, then we're going to go ahead and stop this experiment and do a quick recap. But uh, yeah, so far, so good. I mean, this is a lot better than last week. Um, again, this is the exact seven day mark since they delivered, uh, the 2022 Model Y from Giga Austin with the 4680 battery. So one weekend, uh, this is our second supercharge. Uh, and again, we are in Grapevine, Texas, and we are pulling pretty strong. Uh, and again, realistically guys on a road trip, you'd be off back on the road, going all right, guys, and there we're at. Um, we're at 90%, and it took just at 39 minutes. So, again, from 11.44 p.m. till 12.23 a.m., uh, a total of 39, 39 minutes to uh, go from 4% to 90%. So we added a total of 86% and just under 40 minutes. With that small hiccup of having to you know restart the charger so yeah pretty pretty impressive and now we're sitting at 90 percent and at this point we're gonna go ahead and stop so we're gonna go ahead and to go ahead and gonna go ahead oh yeah and we'll, we'll, we'll once again we'll say grapevine texas and the total of about 20 bucks 20 bucks and 46 cents so let's go ahead and unlock the port all right let's go ahead and uh Put this back up. Really nice uh, station here. All right, guys, pr pretty impressive results with the 4680 uh, Model Y from Giga Texas. Definitely look forward to future updates to see this get even faster. Uh, quick recap again, we started the charging at 11.44 p.m. and we rolled in at 4%, and we charged all the way up to 90%. Uh, and it took just under 40 minutes to do that. So pretty impressive. I'll go ahead and I'll put all the charging stats on the screen so you guys can see. Uh, and also we did max out at 235 kilowatts, which only lasted for a couple minutes. Uh, so definitely I look forward to in the future, uh, Tesla allowing that max charge rate to, to be there for a little bit longer, right? So it'd be nice if we could, you know, stay at 235 kilowatts for like, the first 10 or 15 minutes as opposed to just that first two or three minutes. Uh, but overall, again, definitely look forward to the more updates. Uh, we've only received one software update on this uh, Giga Austin Model Y so far. Looking forward to more updates. Um, definitely, guys, if you have any more questions or comments, please leave those below. Uh, if you have any more ideas for experiments for the Giga Austin Model Y, please let me know. Uh, if you have any, if you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the sub channel. And thanks guys for watching. Uh, you guys have a great day.